after learning about what SQL is all about or what SQL is all about, in this section, we are going to learn about how we can install Oracle on our machine. Remember, Oracle is one of the database platforms we can use to learn SQL. If you don't use Oracle, we can use any other database platform to learn SQL. We can use MySQL, we can use Postgres, and so many others. But for our case, we are going to be using Oracle. And to begin our journey, we are going to first learn how do we install Oracle on our machines. But before we even start, one thing you shouldn't worry about is if I learn SQL using Oracle and in my workplace I find myself uh, they are using a different database, that shouldn't be an area of concern. What you should know is SQL uses the same syntax. Regardless of which database platform you go with, it's minor changes here and there, but the overall goal is they use the same syntax. Even if you learn SQL using the Oracle database, you will be able to work with all other databases as long as they are relational databases. So to download the Oracle installer, we need to go to the Oracle website. The link is in the description. And on this platform, we can see that we can download different versions of Oracle. By the time of this recording, it is at Oracle 21C Express Edition. It is better to install the Express Edition because it is light on machines and it is easier to use. It's not so heavy. On my machine, I already have Oracle installed and so I'm not going to download it again. So I'm just going to show you pictures on how you can easily navigate through the installation process. It begins with a pop-up for license agreement, which you can accept or reject. But once you reject, just rest assured that Oracle won't be installed. The installer will just about. So you have to accept the terms and condition, and then you click next. When you're next, Oracle prompts for a password you want to use. C system and PDB admin, these are administrative accounts, you don't have to worry. You can use any password you want as long as you remember it. Write it somewhere because we shall be using it always and always because it is the password you're going to use when we are when we are working with the software. After passing in the password, Oracle will take just a few minutes because it is an express edition and it will install. It will take some time. To create new files and within a shortest period of time it will be ready once it is ready you'll get a pop-up that the database has been successfully installed oracle has a lot of tools we can use. for example we can have the sql tool we can have the sql developer we can have the browser but for our case we're going to focus on the sql tool the sql plus command line it is just a black screen it's you don't have to worry about this for now. Once we are ready, we can use the connect keyword to begin working with the database. To use the connect, we just pass in connect and we have this, the keyword called connect. And then the username and the password. Remember, we say that Oracle comes with a default database called HRR database that comes with sample data. There is a default user account called HRR, and the password, this forward slash, is separating the username and the password. The first HRR is the user account, then the second one, the second HR is the password I chose to be my password when I was installing Oracle. So once I'm connected, I am free to begin working. You may be having an account locked error. It happens because by default Oracle locks user accounts for security purposes. So to do away with that, we need to first connect as an administrator, lock the account. Don't worry, this is just for the first time. So we need to first say connect system if they use account for administrators, then HRI is the password. Once I get connected, I 
I'll issue the outer user HR and write by HR. Outer user it means making a change, make a change to a user called HR identified by HR identified by HR. This second HR is the password identified by this password and please unlock the account. That is the message we are sending to the database. Once we do that, Oracle say user altered. Once the user is altered, we can connect using the HR account. And this is this step should always be done once when you are connecting when you are connecting to the database for the first time using HR account. So in the remaining sessions, we shall be just connecting HR and then you substitute in your password you use. In the next section, we are going to begin learning about SQL. Let's meet there.